it was Tuesday night. Last lap carnival, my head feeling right. I bounce up this girl. She say I drink up my whiskey and I smoke up my champy. And right now I'm searching for a man to jump up with me. But boy, you're dancing like you're afraid to touch me. I come out to play. Hold me tight around me, belly. I come out to play. Like you're afraid me man go beat you. I come out to play. Good evening and welcome inside the Wajang Discotheque. So, I mean, today would have been the day when we would have been meeting... Sucking dust. <laughs> we would have been hoarse already <laughs> from the amount of dust in the savannah. We would now be bouncing up with phase two, lining up outside Napa, um, the medium bands coming to the end, the crowds gathering on the track, um, but it's in Hapno Carnival yeah. this year. So this evening inside the Wajang Discotheque, inside I Belong to the House of Music, we are talking about love, loss, nothingness, um, tabanka, and what happens in those spaces when we have time to grieve. Mm -hmm. And I'm really happy to have one of my friends in Pan and Revolution as a second generation child of Revolution, uh, 1970s Black Power Movement. Our parents were mm -hmm. um, integrally involved, Robert Young, who we mostly know as a clothing designer, as a independent mass leader, as a troublemaker and speaker and choker of things. So, Robert, welcome. I'm glad I'm here. Um, yeah, we were talking before the camera started yeah, rolling yeah. about about doing nothing this yeah. year and and what it what it feels like to do nothing this year. Because I can see, if you think about it, or hear the loss of not having Panama, if people could just tears could just well up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so um, there is a power in th this. Pause, right? Where you could actually frantically doing it because everybody's frantically now remembering, oh shucks. Carnival is actually happening and oh carnival, there's a space for carnival and I need to do something. Yeah. And I and, I, and, I, and my thing, I made a decision that I'm doing nothing around it. Other than noticing not having it in my life. Yeah. And seeing whatever gains it gives me. Mm. And grieving, not having it. And as you mm. said just now, earlier, before, you were talking about the, the, if, if Pan didn't have the incubation of World War II, yeah. if we had a time to emerge, yeah. something to emerge. And I think there, there's a way that we could rethink what we're doing mm. instead of, because um, the thing is, the response to want to do something is that you're feeling that there is a gap. And yeah. feel the gap and do, well, that's my thing, and do nothing about it other than have your own carnival in your mind, have notice yourself, um, study what this has given you, where you go excessively about it. Because people, people that spend, how much fat people that spend, some people that spend what, five, six, ten thousand dollars already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, people right? go into debt yeah. at carnival right. so, time. So there, 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 are, there are a lot of things that um, this, this pause, in this, this global situation um, that we could, um, we could utilize. So when it, I'm going to try to organize a talk, and I may be a rush to it, I may do it after, but <laughs> I want to do it next week um, yeah. with, with a therapist and a few people just talking about what Carnival kind of has given them and what, they, what gains they could get from noticing that it's not there, because yeah. they could get gains. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, you know. Um, emotional gains. Emotional gains, yeah. for sure. I mean, you know, I think that one of the main conversations that's happened around COVID is how culture helps us cope. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like um, culture is also about us um, disguising our emotions or right. channeling our emotions into things so that we don't have to notice. Because if everybody is half deaf from a FET, then we can't deal with the fact that actually 
most of the music that's being produced is not very right. good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I think that I think that you know, like particularly now that we're trying to do this virtual fed scene, uh, people uh, people <laughs> are realizing that oh, actually. A lot of our artists can't sing, <laughs> and, and they also are not creating very good music. Um, or, and so, or, or creating a good product even to show. Yeah. Right. Yeah. With the experience, kind of a, much things you could do if you're doing a, um, a virtual, a virtual situation. Yeah. I don't know what they are, but we we, we, we produced a film called Self Help mm. for the cloth um, for, for this project we closely be wearing. Yeah. Um, and we did it another way, and I'm glad I did it then because I'm seeing a lot of similarities what people are trying to do what right. dreaming 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 yeah in, yeah. in, in with, their, with their collections like that collection from um the african design the chicago designer um, right um what's his name um, um for virgil right. right he did an amazing thing with 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 um with with, with, with that poet um he might know the name of the poet. I don't know the name of the poet. <laughs> I don't remember the name of right. the poet. Right. Yeah. So, so there are a lot of things that can happen. So are we talking about music? Yeah, let's talk music. Um, first tune. Right. First tune is from Kitchener. Right. And uh, it conjures up a particular time. Um, you were born then? No, you I wasn't were, born you then. Were, you, I was, you were I was, born then? I, was, I, was, I know I was born then. I was three. You were three. I was three. Yeah. But, so I don't know where the memory is, but it's, 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 it's a memory of a time, and it's really 67. It's just, it's, it's, no matter if it's, it's being sung about that same year, it's all like a memory lost or a memory gain or, right. or something something about um, and the, the, the slow chipping, and, and there's a way um, that, that people used to hold each other and move that I still would like to do up a memory from primary school. Um, with one of them, this, 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 this sparrow, they have the shadow song, where you hold people like this, yeah. and you move across, and you keep on going, yeah. right? And, and that's my ideal, ideal um, fed situation. Is that a whiner? <laughs> that, that's, that's yeah, hug her upper. Hug her upper in mass. In I pain. don't know, it's, it's, it's a plenty tune, DJ. <laughs> Tina, why you sleeping? This is you in morning. Tina, why you sleeping? This is you in morning. Girl, I really think you making fun. Have you any band them passing on? Everybody jumping in the pet, and you fall up in your coverlet. If you want to lie down and roll in your night gown, y'all have got no time with you when you miss me and jump in too. 67 in the season, every man in the band will be hugging up the gal. They're romancing while they're jumping. This is Real Bacchanal, 67 Carnival. Song like a ping pong, I get in the shiva, the carnival fever. Makuma, you hear I want to go. So you're talking about the the motion, that hugging up dance, and you 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 often see people doing the hugging up dance, like they're trying to hug up the whole world. This right. is this is how yeah. Chinese dance right, yeah. a lot but, of the time. Or a man in a man in front of Despas. Yeah. Having a party and whole dance like this. Yeah. Right. For the whole time. Yeah. Um, so so that, but also putting your hands around somebody's shoulder. Yeah. And there's a whole few of you all doing that. Yeah. Right? Um, we have a PK square with, with people like that. Yeah. Four or five people holding, holding. Um, but also, this song, this song I remember, um, I can't remember I was sleeping after Juvin, somewhere in the 90s, in a house on Carlos Street, my girlfriend. Um, and caught up hearing that, and it was like a, it was, I don't know if it was a dream or if it was, but it was like surreal. Because it wasn't, well, it could have been two tears 
or 40 years later, right? Yeah. 67, 30, 30 years later. Yeah. Or 33 years later, or something like that. So, yeah, 97. So it, um, so it was a kind of sad memory. But all those Kitchener songs, the tourist one, Miss Tourist, and um, how, to, how to Play Mass, all those, they have a memory. And then I bounced them up again when I, when I attempted um, um, with Wendell and Maureen and Roger Roberts to do um, 10 Theatre, I remember. Even being called by Moving the, Boog, the Gouge before Wendell to sing a song, I was like, <laughs> I hear, I didn't know that it was singing. And my mother <laughs> like, ah, nothing came. Yeah. Right? Um, to sing one of them kitchen songs, I think they would make two walk and kind of leave with head and camps on them. Yeah. Down in, down in the um, hollows yeah. by, the, by the zoo. Yeah. Yeah. How has the carnival landscape changed for you since? since you first come out, right. like, as a, from a young man, um, you know, like for the past 30 years of well, playing mass, being involved, um, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's strange, I have a uh, moment that says kind of mad, um, because my carnival memories, I remember, well, from ch childhood, seeing a kind of mass in Europe, where people come and sweep your yard in the morning, during morning, and that was kind of scary with the knocking of the, 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 um, the devils. So it wasn't a place that you want to see a performance. The performance came to you. Yeah. Right? The mask came to you. It wasn't like a mask that you want to look for the mask. The mask came yeah. in your yard. Yeah. Right? You get up with that noise in your yard and that, yeah. this uncomfortableness. Um, so I took that on, and I remember the first time I made a mask in junior sec. Um, I made a mask, and then there was a fascination with wearing this mask and what it did to people. Yeah. So, at 13 or something, so I started to wear the mask. Yeah. In me. Yeah. <laughs> and scared the whole village, right? <laughs> scared the whole village. Yeah. Scared, 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 scared. People reached the, uh, to a point where um, my younger brother had intervened and burned all my costumes. I had costumes from Dance Macabre. Dance Macabre was, I think, it was 81. Um, yeah. But, that I ter terrorized a, a neighbor, and, <laughs> and, and another neighbor who was drunk pulled a cutlass out and, and swung it at my head and luckily hit the plastic wow. and thinking, he was drunk, thinking he was seeing something. So, wow. so that so vulgar fraction started there. But right. my first experience is, I think, remember, Tiny Whiny in 81, as you were by myself or with, with my brothers and sisters. Um, I couldn't come into town with my face, so I wear masks since then. Right. The only time I play masks without a mask is find somebody else bad, but if I had my own, and I'm in could be um, discomfort around dance something and be in public. I cover myself, cover my face. But do you think that it harkens back to some, to some uh, spiritual imperative? Poss to poss possibly. I, I, I remember seeing um, Festivals of the Caribbean, um, that book. Yeah. With, with, um, and I said, you've covered the John Kuno mask. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is, this is, this is, this is, this is crazy. And then I went yeah. to that from since what? Um, about somewhere in the nineties, um, because I had, I had, a, I had a Juve band that um, called. It was done by that group called yeah, Underground, Underground Press, which was me. Yeah. Um, and we had a band called the Caribbean Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. Um, I remember that. And it <laughs> was again just like how um, Vulgar Fraction is done now, where the, we will we, we'll come together and play mass in somebody band, but everybody mass, everybody get color. Everybody get the stinkiest color, because I think I had the dirtiest thing that people have weeks cussing themselves about why this blue or this red on them. Um, but also, um, since then, because I remember seeing, coming up, coming into town and seeing, seeing people like um, Victor Rick or something like that, um, doing bands at Juve, and Juve was a, a Hawaiian shirt. I was like, what is, what is, <laughs> where am I from the country or something? Whoa, this is, this is, um, how we can, how we could be playing mass with a, Hawaiian school juvie, right? Yeah. And not tapping on, um, on, on, on other things like um, j just masking. Masking yeah. was important. Or, yeah. or painting yourself. I never played mud mask, too. I feel like that is the most disgusting thing. Really? I've never played, I've never played mud, mud mask. That's never interesting. Played mask. Never played. I, 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 my pigment is I go to um, Burjo, get non toxic nanofiber pigment, and mix it with coconut oil. Wow. And that in your skin. And that ain't coming off. If you ain't, if you ain't greased on, that ain't coming off at all. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. 
but masking. Wow. Masking is important. So, and also they're then bouncing up into your research tradition, the Ubuntu that's at the emerging Trinidad and seeing that is a, a full link there that that, yeah. that, 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 that exists. And, yeah. um, and, and, and then Vulgar Faction became more, more trying to tap into that space of mm. spirit. Yeah. All right. Of, um, and people articulated really well is an understanding is like people like Ak Akazu. Yeah. Right? She yeah. is do, do a mass with smoke. So she could yeah. kind of like dwell, dwell in between those, the in between it is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and, and that happens with, 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 with. so when, when I do my, um, even Jewish morning or Tuesday, I know music, the people find music, but also it's about performing ritual in the road. Even if it's um, like when we were talking about the, the, the love changes from Chantel, about the, um, the heart, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's about doing some kind of, um, what Laura Clark will talk about, O-bearing. O-bearing, O-bearing. Yeah. Um, speaking of O-bearing, can we get our second tune, which is from uh, a favorite of ours. Um, I think that we always used to bounce up in an Andre Tanka yeah. <laughs> concert. Yes. And there would be maybe about four or five people dancing in front. Right. You, when I me, dance. Alicia, right. Zara, right. Cassandra. Right. Yes, yes. <laughs> a few of us. Yeah. Like the, you know, and everybody else is in politely yeah. listening to. And yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, can, I can never understand how they couldn't hear that Andre trying to move beyond. Right. The, the seatedness and the, you know, trying to, to take us to that place of Obia. Um, yeah, so tune. And this is, this is our bedroom. No place to go on the street Where the hunter be can be hunted Not even the lion can sleep in peace And say what you say It don't pay to live your life on the run The other way the preacher man with his talk About what is right and what is wrong I have to stop in this Christian song. Yeah, for love. Yeah, 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 for love, yeah. So, so what you were just saying as the song was playing was that um, Voices song, Yeah, for Love, yeah. also captures that kind of in between the, yeah. the anger and the melancholy yeah. and the, yeah. Because that, 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 I would not seen them, I only saw them when they show it in Monarch, just before Monarch, show, show the last, last, last show they ever show, the Monarch is the cinema in, in Tanapuna. Yeah. Um, when they kind of, we touched it, there was reason fun for something. Right. Right? As if you went to that. Uh, that was um, a few Sunity years ago. Did it, yeah. Yes. Right. Uh, Organizing many people who made, made them. But that tune, I would have heard it somewhere in the, in the 70s. And then Andre re-emerged in the space in the 80s so you could hear yeah. his music. Because it was like, where is this album even? Yeah. Right? Where is, where is this music available? You, 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 you couldn't get it. But that song is... Um, Jeffrey Bredo's brother, Andrew, Andrew. the singer, but that thing is like haunting. I remember you sitting on a show in, and people in God look saying, like, "What is this?" Because the lyrics too talks about that. Um, um, one way is the, the is the policeman, and next way is and the preacher man. man. So it's a kind of way what happened to young African men in Trinidad, or any, yeah. any kind of fellow who trying to live outside of the means of the normal economy, and that space of judgment and being caught, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's such an emotional time right now. <laughs> so know? that's why I say, notice, notice the, um, notice it. Yeah? Yeah. We have to notice it. We have notice to notice, notice, notice it. The, um, the, the trap. But you can't notice the trap if you have this thing that is a place of, of relief, right, from noticing. Because I, I, uh, people do things. I, I do a lot of things in my life, and it's not a feel. When I don't do the things that make yeah. me not a feel, I notice more. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then after if I feel some things, I grieve some things, radical self-care, then you could think, but um, we, we also not have to get these, the Lord best will talk, accidents yeah. that will happen that will say that something could, e could emerge. Um, mm. So the accident of no carnival is up time to, if you want to say the ancestors, ancestors set it up. Yeah, I mean, it definitely is, is the universe asking us right. what it is we really want. Who are we really? What, what do we love? And, and, and what do we want to claim? Right. What do we want to reclaim about our humanity, right. about our sense of dignity, about our sense of community? All of those things are questions, I think, that are coming up as part of this, you know, because sink or swim. Because the thing is, everybody's uh, ho hoping. Whether well, hoping it was two weeks or three weeks, I remember buying a set of food and saying that will last me so much, <laughs> and I got done. Right? I remember a woman saying, L L Laura, Laura Garrett, saying this is three years. Yeah. Right. Mm. And we 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 just still hoping that all the man and them leading them place like in in England and and in, and thing Brazil, all the men leaders saying that is got done. And next thing is that piece of crazy craziness happening. So let's notice this space. Also, even all the whole talk about COVID being whatever. I said, even in normal business, when you plant corn alone in one place all the time, there's a pesticide, the pest coming, and you use something to deal yeah. with it. So we have been living our lives where we're running with a domination, human domination, where we're either living or non living thing, and something will emerge. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And we have to we have to be conscious of that, but I feel like civilization creates this this um, egomania right. that convinces us that you know if we have enough um, trappings, if we right. have enough material possessions, uh, I, 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 the I, earth I, can't destroy us. I, I, I the business of making clothes, uh, and I think everybody in the cupboard have clothes to last and the rest of their life if they don't get they get <laughs> if they get fat well they're gonna add an piece of clothes to it. <laughs> or if they get small they're gonna just wear big clothes. <laughs> but people have because I meet a man yeah. who just buy two shirts for me the other day. And he said, I here since last year. I come here a year now and I yeah. come in a short pants and three t shirts in a in a, in a carry on. I yeah. come to fit. Yeah. And I still wear them same clothes. <laughs> right? Yeah. So um my my, <laughs> my business is that. But also the idea like with Shaq Pana. I've gone to many Orisha yards. Yeah. And well, I used to say, why are these people talking this kind of Christian, um, not, not Christian girl, fundamentalist church talk about um, something bad is coming. Mm. Pack your cupboard with, with food, mm. deal with your land, save your mm -hmm. money, because something is coming. And yeah. I've heard it, Shakpana, Ogun, say 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 to the yards and say, what was this? And then, they, they, they say, um, well, we are so telling you that all the time, right? Yeah. It's the warning has been coming. Right. Yeah. The warning has been coming. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a notice, notice the space. Yeah. Notice the space. Yeah. Notice the space. And they're just this, because they, they, I played a song, I wanted to put it in this scene you know, too, you know. There was no carnival song by Marshall. And it, yeah. you lock up. It yes. says, but it was about being again locked by police and you can't yeah. come down to Trinidad, yeah. right? Yeah. But there are a few songs about no carnival that I was I was I, I found yeah. um, in the last period and somebody was by me hearing it play and next thing I watched it and then weeping. weeping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, as as somebody who has lived abroad and come home every year for carnival, you know, I've had winters where, like. I begin to have nightmares about losing my passport mm -hmm. so that I can't come home or missing my flight yeah. or, you know, the, 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 the runway get ice over and so the, the plane can't take off or, you know, just the, there's a kind of um, 
fright that we have ab about this this whole but, thing but about not is, having this thing that we what, that what, we, what, we put that, so that, much that, value that on. The thing about the, um, the the music and the dance is more about like Panama's community. Yeah, Panama Panama is a place where black people get to be safely with each other from all 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 all, all, all generations of people from the youngest people. So a lot of women, young women, and men and older people, and people get to deck out in styles that they must be wearing since, since the 70s and the 60s, and they're there yeah. in the panorama, and they get to rub shoulders and connect and see people you haven't seen in a while and hug and thing. So yeah. it's, it's more, more about that. And also then inside of the, the part, of, part of panorama, the performance and the learning and the teaching that happens in a panorama, no kind of, no kind of money could, could no money, nothing could measure it the amount of community and the amount of brain space and the amount of brain, brain um, recalibrating that's happened in, in, in there that we, we, do, we, we don't investigate, yeah. right? Um, there's a few thousand people doing this thing yeah. and committing in a way that is like, it's not even making mass. No. Right? It's, it's, it's being able to be told, hey, you're doing shipping, you're skating. I remember one time, I think you were there, when, when Desperate was going to win after they didn't win in 10 years. Yeah. And there was done in... Um, down on Frederick Street, and there's one person that was skating, mm. and they run that tune and they stop the stop the section, stop the section, stop the section until they find the one man, yeah. and then the one man had to run that tune for 25 minutes with everybody waiting, right? Yeah. Um, but that is that was done in a kind of a love, a, a love that is significant. If you want to do this, just do this, do this, and you you learn this, and we will support you while you learn this. Yeah, and it's it's about community accountability as well. And there's so few spaces for that community accountability. And you know, I, I observed when the community recovery um, committee was was assembled right. that there was no pan people involved in it. Right. I think that belatedly, pan people became well, that, well, that, invited. That, that, that document had to do over. <laughs> but but then back to Bedu and them. Bedu Andrew Andrew Bedu. Family is the group that does the nation dance thing up in Matura. The Saraka, and the, yeah. Saraka, and that's like 150 years of them doing that thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. All of, yeah um, of, of, of kind of like remembering this is the songs we did, yeah. this is the music we did, this is the dance we did, but also providing a space for community on the night before emancipation. Yeah. Um, other people do it, but they've been committing themselves. So I, I remember going to to Andrew's brother's house, that's Jeffrey, mm -hmm. the night he got sick. And I was like, and that was, the, that was emancipation morning. Mm. The space was empty, nobody. I was like, what's going on here? And he, like, he, he had like a, um, a Jesus Christ situation because he didn't get dead. And he come back and lived for four days. Wow. And then died. Wow. He did the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that whole, the, the, I think, again, going back to the in-between, right. the in-between space where, where we are constantly existing, that, um, that in-between space is so crucial for us to understand mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah, this is the time for right. us to understand it. So what's the next, the next, next? Can we jump in? Where are we going now with this music? Where's the next song? <laughs> Don't remember. <laughs> 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 Trinidad, tell me what scene you want. Do you just like political confusion? You criticizing the way you live, yet you can't produce an alternative. You say you are against the power structure. You ain't like the opposition either. But take care, you jump out the hot water and end up in the center of the fire. Because you refuse to vote in election, but then you will want revolution. You strongly against communism. You walk out on colonialism. You say if William had to vote, but who to replace him? You went home. So to make a long story short, from in front, Trinidadians and really know where they want. 
Christ. We get the Trinidadian boy. <laughs> so that was my true, Mr. Trinidadian. Yeah. Um, and it, it's good that it came on the heels of us talking about the in betweenness because, right. yeah, you know, he, he, he also talks about that, you know, Trinidadians. You, one minute you're saying this, mm -hmm. and then the next minute you're saying this. So, you know, there's a kind of uh, duality that we are constantly living in without really trying to, to understand why. Uh, I think, um, well, I'm making up something now. <laughs> um, I'd say it all the time, I'm making it up now. Is this the space of being in a space that has a history like ours? Yeah. Right? And how that history impacts on our lives. So we, we are both. Right, so we don't see anybody that is the main oppressor in the space, right? So we, we don't know who, who, the, who, who this is. So we are that, and then we are also the person who take any pressure, the victim, right? Um, and I don't use, so, so there's that. So, um, so you, you flip from, from completing that things and then it's completing this is one or so you, you can reach the other side where you're saying, this consequence, these people deserve. These are the bad people deserve. Yeah. So like when or like, these are the migrants, right? Or migrants, whoever. whatever. Yeah. So or women. Yeah. Or so so you're, you're yeah. flipping between there, right? Yeah. Um, and again, the space. That I will always go back to. You think about what happened to you as a young person. I remember I said to somebody yesterday, yesterday that, or I heard somebody say that when they get licks from the mother, they used to want to, they used to pray that a tractor would run through the house and. Kill their mother. Kill their mother, right? Yeah. And those same people as adults will say, thank God my mother beat me. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't have been trained properly. Yeah. And young people need to be beaten now. Because all the argument is that them young people who be doing whatever they're doing in Trinidad is when Kamala decided to stop, or the Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Pisessa decided to stop to pass a thing policy that there's no licks in school. Because I was brutalized in school as a young boy. Yeah. Beaten badly. All through, I get like something to perform. Mm. Remember seeing that hand boom shaking the ear, the top of the hand boom shaking, so after it hit my, my hand, right? Wow. Um, and the way, the, way, the, way, the, way, the way consequences come, so that's the thing. But that song is, that song in 1990, I knew it from before, but 1990, cool. I'm mm. um, driving home from getting food order from a shop in Westmall. Going up to Sandy Grandy, and next thing the radio cut off. Hmm. And then we see our back on TV, and the next thing for the radio, you hear that song playing. Maybe it was Dennis for Kobe playing this song. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, because he was inside the 100. Yeah. And he played music. So I think, yeah. I, have you ever find out? You yeah, asked Dennis for Kobe to do one of these. Yeah. He yeah. lived right down inside there. He had the whole history of Belmont. Serious? Yeah. Okay, all right, we'll call him. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, Trinidadians. So, I mean, yeah. But that song has all kinds of stuff in it. It's all about, kinds it's of stuff. It's about the race stuff, it's about the class yeah. stuff. Yeah. Tony me, you yeah, want you yeah. back, you want back, uh, but Gomes, you want, you, you want Tony me to run the place. Yeah. Because with the, with the person who is our um, COP now, is like a mixture of Tony me, mixed with. Um, Burrows. Burrows and mixed with other kinds of other kinds of things. Psychopath. I would, I know, I wouldn't, oh, I wouldn't use, use definitions because um, they have fans. Then what? He has he fans? He has fans. Oh, okay. He's a good friend of my brother's. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. Yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is a good segue for the next tune. Right. Which is um, a dancing tune. Right. Uh, from Brother Resistance, but it's also in the same vein of the of, of Maestro, who... Right who talks tongue-in-cheek about mm -hmm. what Trinidadians want and right. don't want and, and who they are aspiring okay. to be, right. right? So, next tune. With the flick of my wrist, here comes a new musical disc that will make you jump and twist to network. Disco, Rapture.
So, yeah, Sir Robert went to take a little visit. <laughs> Here comes Robert. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, gosh. This is a real Sunday evening right. <laughs> situation right. in the nation. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here we are. Right. <laughs> Brother Resistance dancing shoes. Um, well, Resistance, I remember requesting that as my 14th birthday party. Um, I hope I have right, that's 79 or something, right? Somewhere like yeah, that, yeah. Right, but 79 is the song, I think it's 79 is the song. Yeah. I remember we getting the record, the only record that my mother got. But well, we, we play this thing, um, we had a, we had a deck, because we had, we, we catch us, a deck, and we had a speaker, and we put it in a, in a carnation box. Yeah. To have an extra, extra speaker in the, in the, um, thing yeah. for the DJ to turn up, and we don't make something. So that was, that was, that song was part of that. But also, um, resistance, um, that was a time of trying to come up with something new, new music, with Lancelot Lean, and this is like, just after Lancelot Lean, um, other, other pieces of music from in, in, must be 10 years ago, 10 years before 69, mm. but that was the first rap. So, rap. 70, yeah. Yeah, um, with, um, with, with um, Blue Way. Blue Way. Um, so, but by resistance, you still have access to TU, Transport Industrial Workers Union, the, um, the union my father was one of the founders of, um, on, on Laventy, in Laventil. Yeah. Um, and, before that, he would have gotten support. So, so there's some kind of relationship. Um, and I had a kind of um, liking for it and also help develop the idea, the brand the, for the cloth, right? Mm. Um, I remember one time going to meet um, Pat Bishop and saying, we want you to do music for our show, but we want you all to work with Network with them Band. And she was aghast. <laughs> she was like, what are you? Talking about, <laughs> we do music. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Brother, <it's, laughs> right? We, we do melody and thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> with, with, with chords and all of that. So I don't know yeah. how we can how we can acquire what I work with. Thing. So that was a, that was the kind of contribution I wanted to do. But that was mad. I remember yeah. in, in um inside a central bank watching me like, I know who you is, a young boy, but this is making no sense. I was like, my, I, I imagine I was about like 22, 23, asking yeah. to to do this as her next project. Yeah. That's kind of wild. <laughs> yes. So was, what, what became of that? that nothing. The, nothing became nothing of it. It's right? done. Yeah. The next time I get to work, part this music for us is when we did a show called No Chorus Yet in 97 at the wow. Normandy. Yeah. And the, 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 that show had um, a 100 member choir, David Rudder, at a clan. Yeah. Yeah, and 110 models. Yeah. Um, with a stage. I wanted the stage to be a mud stage. Yeah. Um, we can hear mud stage, so we end up putting people in mud in the first part of the show. So young people were walking, and they had to walk between these foot, footprints of mud on their toes. Because we had, we had a children's line called the Claw Child at that time. Mm. Um, yeah, so my resistance is, oh, I also got involved, heavily involved in oh, helping organize um, um, Rapso, Rapso Month or Rapso Week, whatever, that, that, in that period, mm. in the 90s. Um, so people like I, Jillian, Goddard, and Georgia Hopewell, we had a group called Prophets Inc. And we somewhere like it, so it had to be the later 95, 96, 97. So we produced Breaking Ground for, for, for resistance mm -hmm. and, uh, and for the Y'all also used group. to do a, a thing up in Maracas and just celebrating revolution, right? yeah. Um, Rupla Gad Hari, he wasn't even, he went up becoming Chutney King. Yeah. He, he, he performed there as a, as a, yeah. as a, as a Chutney singer. Sandra Bihari performed there, Rashwati performed there, Three Canal performed there before there was Three Canal. Yeah. Um, at a clan perform, um, Homefront performed that year with in the early part of that big truck that yeah, I'm rolling. rolling. Yeah. Um, in the in the, in my in my house now, which is my house downstairs in the, studio, the old studio. Um, so 
that happened. So from that, we got involved in organizing. So resistance, I have a, I have a space for resistance and what, and what, what, he, what he attempts and what he does. Yeah. Especially in, inside of Rapso. And yeah. getting, getting a place without no, because there's no Rapso competition, right? So yeah. there's a place of no judgment, people trying and attempting. And out of that, a lot of people like Lata Clan, um, Ozzy and Julian Moore, well, I say Mata Clan, that's from Homefront, Tree Canal, and there are other versions, um, the other one, one um, awards using thing, uh, using rap, so as the form of pres presenting the music, mm -hmm. and, 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 and the reference of it is the poetry of Calypso, mm. right? Yeah, yeah. Or the words of Calypso, then, yeah. That kind of, um, you know, you're describing the um, No Chorus Yet show. Yeah. That, that merging of those different worlds, so like, um, the performance with the the music and the fashion. Right. Um, they're now doing that. All them shows you're seeing. But this is this is right. what I'm about to say. So you know, like, you know, you started off in your twenties, attempting to do something that um, that couldn't work. Right. But you kept at it um, to the point now where it's it's actually a model that. Other people, yeah, because um, I remember people when, when, like when I showed in, um, in when Fashion Week came out on a decision, Trinidad Tobago Fashion Week, I said that people really don't know the cloth and how we presented work. So I would deliberately do something. So we did um, that show in, it was in the, that was a real nice year, 2008. And yeah. they went at the show in the square. Um, yes. Dan, but Diane Hunter, my brother, and the organized, worked on that. Um, and we did a show where we had 12 perform live. Yeah. We had the model sit I on stage. That. Um, and the models didn't leave the stage, and it was a way to show. But the thing is, people are like, why would you do that? Um, people at, at the school will say, one model, one piece of clothes, one long piece of doop, 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 disco noise. Or not disco noise, techno noise, um, that have nothing to do with this place. Like if fashion is a thing that is, well, fashion has always been a thing that you import, right? Yeah. Um, but they are all importing it in how the format was and not trying to make it grounding. And now, you see in shows where people dance singing it? Because yeah. they have to figure out something else other than a model walking on the stage. Yeah, right? because I mean, who is that relevant to? Right. You and know? also because of the virtual space now, yeah. you have to do, like, Fendi has an amazing show the other day, so like, crazy. They had these glass, glass um, showing the isolation of the space. So yeah. every model went into this glass, this glass, glass bottle nearly, mm. that had an ecosystem of plants and things inside of it. Wow. But watching the next one, and it's like, about 50 of these glass, glass things. Wow. Right? But we have figured out stuff. So um, some people, they, they had a virtual fashion show um, with, with Observer. Mm -hmm. Did it in July. And that's when we did the, um, the self-help yes. video, which we haven't really fully released until we launch our website, which we're right. working on. And maybe in two months' time, it will be up. It will yeah. be relevant because a lot of things we do. This is recent work, but we have work that I still do it since 1997. 1987. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So there's there's yeah. space to do to do that. Um, as you talk about relevance, you know, I I put in the description of the cloth. It's like a quintessentially Caribbean fashion line. But what does quintessentially Caribbean mean? Um, because yeah, I mean, what what is fashion in terms of Relevance in terms of usefulness, going back to something that you said earlier, where you know you're talking about the fact that you know you are in the business of creating things for people to wear, but but to sing buy before the word, huh? Put them to buy it before the word, not to buy before the word, right? So that's the buy it, yeah, right, so right, yeah, but but wear. I mean, yes, okay, but but. In terms of practicality and relevance of fashion to our lives, you know, how do how do we make fashion relevant? Well, 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 with, for, for, for me, I had to coming up from a house that was Joe Young, Cheren, who matter he wasn't in our house. We had Cheren and Joe Young, mm. but he wasn't living in our house. Um, he lived other places and visited. Died from my died in our house, but but um, yeah. And my mother being that. And I remember being in a fashion show in 19... It had to be 70 in Daga Hall or somewhere just after that. Um, I had a, 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 re, a reversible dashiki. 
Mm. You come on the stage with one side and you turn it around the next side. <laughs> All right? And, and me, my brother, and my sister, that we were, we, my sister was a model for a while. She modeled for the cloth. She lives in London since like 1987. Um, very sure. Um, but the thing is, I had to make fashion make sense for yeah. me. And I made it sense where I could try to put equal politics, a vision, a, vision, a statement, uh, a noise making, uh, um, saying that this could be possibly different, but also using the music, at the time music and the master thing. So like Mitchell doing his own kind of stories, where it was master was a concept master, but about, more about a, a statement master about um, um, relevance to the world situation, but like resistance dancing, putting in dancing shoes, and you give a damn fair culture. There was there were things that happened in the seventies, and I remember is Rafi Shah writing an article about um, what seventy gave Trinidad, mm. right? Seventy gave Trinidad all the eighties, all all seventy give give cloth, give 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 resistance, give made Andrew Tanker, give give Rashwati a chance to even think about um about ab about um about Suka, but also. Um, what's his name? Sweet Martin. Um, Winston. Um, Winston Sweet sells all your people from the seventies. All you think, all you didn't start nothing. All you was at a point because there were about three of us that make that. Yeah. The Orisha movement. Yeah. Um, the um, Butler movement. Yeah. And, and the Americans. Right. Because the Americans existed in the in Trinidad as free Africans. Inside of involuntary in forcivity, yeah, yeah, slavery. Inside of that, yeah. so those those things. I always always want to. I wish I could. Some, some of them, I want to ask people who practiced in Orisha people or spiritual Baptist people at that time. What they thought about the seventies, nineteen seventy? People don't want black is beautiful and Afro one thing. While them in the house, them in the yard the night before, staying up doing a ritual that they had to hide, 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 hide. Yeah. What what? But the thing is, I, I, I know knowing that Pan has a significant Orisha connection, connection yeah. deep, deep Orisha connection, and that those same people use uh, the, their understanding about the, the in between it here about I connected to the, to the stone, I connected mm. to the living things and unliving things, and things can't be seen. All those things that, um, that, that song to people like, like Obia and scary, 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 scary stuff. People in the, in, in the pan movement and also must be in Musa Carnival. I was asking, under what, what rituals the sailors does do? But I know the black Indians does do rituals. But yeah. the black, but, or, 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 or observances other than rituals. Because it's, it's, not, it's not, no poof or thing, no, nothing will walk down the road when they do the ritual, right? Yeah. It's about an observation, about yeah. a, a, a veneration, about saying um, the same way people who into um, Korean culture thing now. They do ancestral veneration. Absolutely. They, they do that. And, and you don't say that it's spooky as young people. Yeah. Or the people with the children who into Korean things, um, paying on homage to your ancestors. But yes, that's knowing that. Even just walking on the road, it's people build that who, who not around anymore. People, the, buildings that, the buildings that are built. We live in an ancestral space. Yeah. The buildings that are built are built and designed by people who may be alive now, but a lot of them are dead, right? Yeah. The names are streets, yeah. right? Bullet Street and, and um, Kitchener Street and, and Kitchener Street and all those, those people are people who were involved in the, um, the, 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 the South African World War, war yeah. that we recognize, right? So we have to, so, so part of fashion is also, to me, it was a deliberate thing to try to see how I could carve something out using what I saw and the resistance of trying not to do what, what I saw also. Yeah. So that's the same yeah. way with me not wanting to do carnival this year because there were a lot of people just wanting to do something because you have to do it. And if I think about it well, I don't need to act. I yeah. could just notice it for myself and see if you could do some, something else. Because I don't think they have, they, they have a carnival next year neither. And let me see how we buy that. Good boy. <laughs> I know plenty of people listening are going to be like, don't say that! <laughs> Don't well, put that energy into the audio, universe. Audio. Look, um, Canada just banned all flights to um, the, the warm weather places, Mexico and the Caribbean. And if some people will say, well, say, well, well that's the plan. They had they want to starve us and kill us out. Whatever, whatever conspiracy theories that exist. But something is happening that is significant because white people wouldn't give up money like that just so.
<laughs> Next tune. <laughs> <laughs> Colombian. I mean, and it was instant funk after that. It's Look. so wild that there was a time in our music where people were talking openly well, they, 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 about that, cocaine. Well, that you come after, after um, 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 put on your dancing shoes, right? Yeah. Right. Um, so that's another version of it. So so when this two two talk when the school and the time, yeah. and there was a time I wanted to go out, but I was too young to go out. Yeah. I didn't know the song then. I knew, I heard the song. In, in either late 80s or in the 90s. Now, you said in Carrie Fester, um, I got through better resistance. Yeah. Right? Um, but also, is the time when Palava, Impact, Heritage, Humid Heritage, don't know, you wouldn't know that. You can't know about that. <laughs> um, Palava is a disco in town. Yeah. And Impact is another disco in Port of Spain. And that Heritage don't in, don't in, don't in, um, at the end of Shagaramas. Right. But I was too young to go. Um, this song also reminds me of Brothers Johnson, Stomp, and Strawberry Letter 22, or 23 is one of them. Um, but also, it, it's tapped on the global scene. Trump was big, big then. Trump was yeah. going to um, is, is Studio, Studio, 50. Studio 54, yeah. right? All in that same period of time. Yeah. So that song references that, that time and how, how the international music scene, which really always affects what we're doing look locally, locally yeah. Um, but, but this was like a um, a disco, a disco fever. A, a, this like a couple of nights, Saturday night fever kind of um, playing any music, but that's merchant, and he's yeah. one of the best, one of the significant composers of music, not only lyrics but composers, right? Um, Caribbean Connection, all the man, tunes. Um, Robert Upsoka. Yeah. 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 Right. I mean, we. we got, we, we, we lost them, um, possibly through the Colombian. Possibly. Yeah. I want to. Um, I want to talk about about Caribbean men. Mm -hmm. Because um, <laughs> oh, we the, need to talk about men <laughs> in the Caribbean. Let's have that talk, or let's you know let's continue that talk, um, because. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a talk that we need to keep having. Right, but like, um, you still... And I'm not sure if I'm, right, you have if it. I'm the right, right person, right person. To, But when I but, said white people just now, or yeah. when this, I should say, like what Bella looks to say, um, white, white supremacist, patriarchy, male domination thing, that whole definition of it. Yeah. And then that we reflect that. Yeah. Because if this is the model of what, Male domination supposed to look like like yeah. wealthy white men. All the things about that and that came out in the, like in the late sixties and seventies. Um, Hugh Hefner and all of them. What it was to be, 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 a, be, be a man. I remember reading Brenda Star as a boy. Um, every morning I would go to the, the to get the express. I could read this amount of Brenda Star. 
I mean, the start a man called Basil or something, so what a hundred women around the world, and I saw so that was fascinating. Wow. He said, beaded milk. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right? At, but as, as a 14 year old boy. Yeah. Right? Um, so, that, but also, if we have a place where um, you get consequences for showing your feelings. Yeah. Right? Um, to kind of regain your, to hold on to your humanity, you have to, um, to feel. And if, this is basic thing, sissy, sissy, sissiness is crying, right? Mm -hmm. What's happening now? If I hear somebody saying, if a boy went through university, in three years in university, the question is sexuality because a boy in university will take five years to finish his first degree. Wow. Right? So everything that is not, everything that is not feminine is masculine. And if women are moving into these spaces that men once had, yeah. true privilege, um, it's not for me to do anymore. So, so, so the efficientness of young men organizing in the other parts of the economy is still, it's, it's still brilliant. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How they organize, whatever they organize. Um, however they organize and make the, build, work in an economy and have a, sometime a better life than I am having. Maybe yeah. short-termed, short-lived, um, according to what male, maleness or masculinity um, demands, that's what, that's, what, that's what we are going towards, mm -hmm. right? So, um, so people like um, um, uh, Beyonce's person, um, man. Jay Z. Jay Z. Jay Z now kind of doing stuff, but he's doing that through therapy, finding stuff through therapy. But before that, all the music he sang about was about um, this masculinity, about yeah. domination, about um, how many and how much money, how much women, how many, how much clothes, how much shoes, how much, how much, how much, how much. Right? Yeah. So, is that value? If you, if you take away people's ability to, to um, notice value, to notice, to have respect, so you have to do something, you have to do something to be respected. We have to do something to be honored, right? And people are just honored because they're human. Yeah. So you have to get some bling, yeah. right? And um, them fellas doing real good. Yeah. In yeah. Real good because that is the model. Because yeah. the same, the opposite to that is the man with the um, with the with the big fancy car, and who living on the islands, and who swindling the government out of money, or which minister is doing whatever, and, and have millions outside or have a different kind of thing. I am um, one minister men mentioning, you, you, think I, you think I have um, have stories with, with, with car, I used one who's gonna buy a boat instead, right? Um, <laughs> where you get that from a little amount of money. So there are things that happen in this space, but we also agree with it. Yeah. Because I hear people say, if I, if I had the opportunity to be a minister, I will do the same thing. Yeah. Right, because um, I remember my father talking about um, he was representing workers from a, a, a certain company. Uh, when he went to the, the negotiations, the, the owner of the company showed him a gun in his waist. Mm. And when he spoke to the workers after, they say if I was here, I was doing the same thing. Wow. So that there was no separation of, of um, knowing your place. Knowing your yeah. place, and if you get the opportunity to be in power, take yeah. it. Yeah. Right? So, um, I mean, this, but this goes back to the whole question of, of children, people getting beaten, yeah. but then justifying the licks that they get. Right. So, so it's a kind of, but it's not only a 1964 thing, like when I was born. We have, we have, have had a, a um, history of violence. This place, then, this place was bo um, taken from people, and that ain't dealt with yet. If you, mm. just say, if you just say genocide, mm. chanted for a few, few long period, you'll see what feelings come up, right? This place was genocide, did, right? That yeah. was done. And then people, nobody did any work, significant work on having a 300 year history of, no matter, Trinidad's history is only 95 years of involuntary forced servitude, but also colonization was done in a way where, and colonization is, people say, Robert, you always use these things, these words where people make the decisions other than, other than you, right? Um, so, so it's like telling a child you can't make decisions, you can't do what you want, you can't talk to, you have to talk to everybody. You want to talk, up, when somebody comes and tell a young person hello, like a young girl, you have to say hello, you have to be respectful, you have to do what they say, 
Yeah. And then they tell them, um, don't sleep with somebody who I caught for, for them something called leaning direct, the, the direction, right? So we, we take away power from young people as part of our training as, as Caribbean people, yeah. right? And people fight that, fight that off. And when we fight that off, maybe at two years old, we get beaten more. Mm. And then we, we set up ourselves we and then we, we wait until we get the permission to do what we have to do. And we, 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 we wild out. Yeah. Right? Like obese. Right, and then we figure out stuff. But it is, it is um, traumatic and all these things are stored in our bodies. Yeah. Right, but it's a long story. That's for next time. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the song or that other song, I can talk about it. I know about Festac. Mm. Right, that's the African festival. Mm. Um, that would have happened in maybe in '78. Mm. And I remember going to a woman's house in DC. Mm. Woman called Zawa. That's Irene Warren. I met her on a train, and I sit in the house, and she had Festac posters in wow. her house. Um, and that was seeming to be around the same time of like, seemed like magic. Kai Festa was happening at the same time. 81 Kai Festa was a big one in Barbados. Mm -hmm. And that is the same time Kai Festa in Cuba. Mm -hmm. And those memories of Kai Festa are uh, big. I know Chantal went to the, as a young person, to the 81 Kai Festa as a young person. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. So, next track is a pan tune. Yeah. Because it's Panama. It's Panama. <laughs> I did, yeah. This was. And. Olive playing sparrows to do yummy. Yeah, yeah, that is like, and if you hear it and listen, you see, you hear these similarities of Boogie doing, even what, mm. what um, Xander doing in that song, and that song is 79. Yeah. Um, I didn't go to Panama, but I remember, my, but, I've, but I've seen it, the craziness on the side of the stage. Um, the, there wasn't 100 people there, there might have been, Gilles Carvel, as you said, 200 people on stage. Right? Big, 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 big. And then getting to push that band on a carnival Tuesday from the Savannah down the road as a boy. I would have been 14 or something. Um, so the Sparrow version doesn't do it. That version does it. Yeah. And only that version, because when Starlet, have a Starlet version of it, where they're doing a studio, and it's not the same thing because the crowd response. Yeah. A, you can't hear yeah. The, the, yeah. the pure joy yeah. of yeah. people. Yeah. And, and the, 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 call and the, the call and the response that's happening in Orisha Yard yeah. happens in a pan yard. Absolutely. It happens much now because they, they, um, since when the ONR came in power, not the ONR, sorry, where the very ONR, the NR, yeah. came in power <laughs> and they pulled police on the stage and kind of limit people's activity in the Panama, hoping that we could sell the product of Pan. Pan is a, a thing that people have to hear inside of a space. We haven't figured out how to record Pan yet for people to get the same experience. Yeah. So they tell me about they want to videotape it or yeah. record it so they could sell it. Um, yeah. The activity of Pan and that is community and government should completely invest in that again and let people be inside, like next year Panama should be. If they have a next year Panama, they may have Panama, they may not have Carnival. 
but <laughs> I confuse here because Stop the good mouth, Robert. Because Stop para, the good mouth. But para, whenever Panama <laughs> happens again, let people be inside of the stage and vote there because they're call and response business. You're sucking the people out from playing this music and they're here. And, and I mean, I feel like I feel like yeah, I feel like away. Pan for me. I mean, you know, like I tell the story about you know, I didn't. My mother says that I didn't learn how to walk until I was like probably two years old. Right. And the first time that I walked off and got lost was at Panorama. Okay. Because it was like, I was two years right. old and I could finally walk. So, you know, it made sense to me at that point that I needed to be inside of the pan. Right. And eventually, Holly Bitodier found me on stage. Jesus Christ, Lord, <laughs> you're sorry, like Christopher Pernero. Christopher Pernero went away, I ended up inside of his award station and, 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 and picked on, picked on, on Marley Street. Wow. Wrong activity. <laughs> wow. <laughs> At two and yeah, I also. mean, you know, the, the, the thing about the, the, the music calling you and this, this desire to be inside the music where, you know, you can feel it like all in your hair follicles. Sometimes I, I, I do that. I get on stage. If there are 100 people on stage, I'm 101 because I'm inside of somebody's band in the midst hiding. And they can get disqualified for that, which I find is kind of stupid, but. You but there know, was one year, one year a man do that when, when, when Bugsy and they did a um, birthday party. That's one of the best recording, best yes. piece of music that um, um, Faith stood in. And there was a man who stripped naked because birthday party, born in birthday suit. I was <laughs> running across, I think a police was running down, he's disappearing inside of the air. Um. <laughs> awesome, awesome, yeah. yeah. So we have one last tune. Yeah, that tune, that tune is um, kind of pulls all of that together. Pan. Yeah. It pulls together my 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 carnival um, playing of mass. The story is that um, a year carnival was on the 14th of uh, uh, February, Valentine's yeah. Day. I played a mass using finding my old love letters from girlfriends or my letters to um, or poems to them. I kind of put them in envelopes, Ziploc bags, and sew them all over my clothes and then cut all hearts and just had it all over the garment, but also had a bag of hearts. So I was um, somewhere, either going up George Street or Nelson Street, or one of them streets there. That's where I was coming. And there was a woman in a, a woman in her pan was stuck in the drain, right? And that woman was chanted as well. I dropped a heart in the pan and I went my way. A year later. So you didn't help us take up an uh, I, train. No, no, no. I was, I was, I was <laughs> but I heard about Chandler as through uh, another, uh, my old girlfriend, uh, Marcina Tong. They were talking about her winning, 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 winning um, Pan Solaris of the Year with Liam Teague. Um, Chantal, well, I see Liam Teague win that because a woman won it. So mm. they had to tie it. Yeah. Chandler said, I see that. Um, God, Lord, I'm in trouble. I see that. Um, and <laughs> I met a year later, I went to my mother's church, which is my old church, Holy Saviors. And um, she was in church, I saw her. And I left the church, I went to, to buy food. She was in the grocery. So I walked up and said, hey, that hat, yeah, wait, you remember that hat? Where is it? She said, it's in a drawer, drawer at home. And I said, I'm the man who gave it to you because I'm, I was masked. Yeah. Then the same Chantal as they did a series of shows at a club. I can't remember the club, but it's that place where what, 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 um, Monsoon used to be, at the corner, picked up through the Tragic Road. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it, it became a, there had many versions of the thing, yeah. but that corner there was a, a place yeah. that she was doing live pan performance, jazz performances, yeah. Caribbean jazz or what Nicholas Peter re refers as BAM, Black American yeah. music yeah. or Black people music, um, jazz, ancestral, ancestral memory music. Um, and I went to, to that, to that um, those series of shows and I begged her one day for a drop home. And she was like, why is this man begging me for a drop? Right, the, the piano can fit and I end up sitting on the piano again and drop home. <laughs> um, and then she asked me to produce a song. And one day, um, out of, um, I invited her home by me, my um, evening to cook, like 11 o'clock, we met. And I went to buy food in Korea Junction. 
And that was at the end of marrying Chantal. Right? Now I'm divorcing Chantal. Um, for, for the same reasons of what men had to work on. Um, but this song is called Love Changes. Come in. Yeah, the pan come, come in. in. Yeah, the pan come in. Anyway, all right. Well, Sorry. I mean, so we're both sitting here crying because at this point we would be, as the sun coming down in the savannah, you have no more voice, and desperados coming up Frederick Street, and phase two still in front of Napa because. <laughs> they set up, they set up, they set up yet. The big pans ain't reached yet. <laughs> the big pans ain't reached yet. I would have seen Uncle Earl walking across in white and a storm um, not stand, although I have a pass. And I go and check Miss N2 in the grandstand to get mm -hmm. food. And she told me again the, the story again about how I lose right. when I was two years old right. and Holly Bitori find me. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say, but thank you, Robert, for sharing mm. these songs with me. Thank you for crying with me right. <laughs> live on Facebook. <laughs> um, it, it's a year for that. Yeah, it's a year for the, us to the, acknowledge this grief that there we would have been, There would have been a pan side that people hardly noticed. Tropical Angel Hops. Yeah. The right on the corner there. Always there. Always there. Hoping Always to get there. into the finals. And another band that was hoping to get in the finals, that only got in the finals once, is Labyrinth I think is. They got in the finals. Ooh. After 40 years of trying. Wow. In, a few years ago, and then we ended up dressing yeah. them. I remember going up to them and said, I've been looking at you for a while. I um, I just make clothes for Panorama. And I would like to get to make your clothes. Um, because I, we, did, we did as much as four steel bands in Panorama. Three C bands in finals already, the cloth. But it's a thing that we do privately. The biggest band get the bling that we do in them, and we can't tell them we do the others, and we tell the others we do in phase two. <laughs> <laughs> and we tell nobody, so. <laughs> right. But we, we have stopped doing that now. Files get bust. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of files get bust today. Um, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Robert. Okay. Thanks, Robert. Thanks to the Wajangs in the background. We belong to the House of Music still. Carnival or no carnival. Have a good evening. Yeah.